Hey, I'm Mitch Richmond, and this is Run TMC. Chris Mullen was there first, and um, we hit it off right away. Uh, time I got there, me, him, and uh, and Rod Higgins was all we would always work out together. So it kind of really kind of improved my game because I was a guy that was trying to get to the rim at every play possible. I wanted to try to dunk or get an and one or get to the free throw line. I was just always attacking the rim. Uh, and I remember Rod told me that, hey man, you, you got to start working on your outside game a little bit, man. You're gonna beat yourself up. You're not gonna make it five years if you don't if you keep it playing like that. And uh, and so yeah, I just worked on my game, and then all of a sudden uh, Tim Hardaway came. I can remember Don Nelson was watching film on him. And he was like, "Hey, what do you, you call me in the room? What do you think about this guy?" And I'm like, "Man, he's really really good." I thought when I first saw him on tape, I thought Tim was about six five because how he played and how aggressive he was and how you know how, how, how in charge he was on the court. Uh, so, but when, so when we drafted him and I got a chance to see him, I'm like, man, I didn't know you was that small, but he had a heart of a lion. And uh, from day one, when we got in, in the gym, man, we just clicked right away. Right away, we clicked. Uh, it was, you know, three people coming from uh, different parts of the world, uh, but everyone was kind of work, really working together. And, and us three together was very potent. Uh, it was just really fun to to, to, to actually play and, and actually really fun to watch because I go back and, and watch a lot of our tapes. Richmond with a beautiful pass from Hardaway. Well, it, it worked because, you know, uh, first of all, you had two guys that uh, that was quiet leaders and it was probably me and, and Mully. And then you had Tim that was a loud leader. And he was the point guard. And he was the guy that was kind of engineering everything because he could get to any place he possibly wanted on the court. Uh, but the thing about Tim was he can really score the basketball, but he was also a great passer. So you had that that ability for, from Tim Hardaway. Me, I was a guy that was, was I liked to play inside. I liked to, 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 to I liked the physical play. I liked to defend. Um, I like to go up and down the court and just, and I was, a, I like to play physical. And so that was my thing. I wanted to post up a lot. And then you had Chris Mullen was the guy that was on the perimeter. Uh, that was probably one of the purest shooters that ever played a game. Uh, a guy that really kind of knew how to, that he had to master how to get his shot off because he wasn't that quick. Uh, so he had to, 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 to find ways and, and find really kind of, uh, find the ability to really kind of get his shot off when guys was t uh, taller than him and also when guys was faster than him. And most guys was pretty much faster than him. But he had a he had a, a uncanny te technique of, of really kind of getting his shot and, and getting down the court and never stop moving. He was always moving. So whoever was guarding him, we knew that was going to be dead tired. Uh, because he, he continued to move. And, and all of that came together because we knew, I, I remember one day when Don Nelson said, listen, uh, Tim is going to be the, the captain. He's going to be the, the quarterback. And whenever anybody gets the rebound, give it to Tim and just run the court. He will find you. So Tim is going to quarterback. And you guys, I want you guys on the wing. I don't care what wing, both of you guys get on the wing and run. And, and that's what we did. Hardaway. What a move! Oh, did he explode and it goes! Well, Nelly was, uh, I, I, I say Nelly was a really uh, good basketball mind. And uh, we played the San Antonio Spurs. They had David Robson. They had that great team down there. Uh, Larry Brown was actually coaching it. And uh, Don Nelson, you know, he, he always had confidence that he was going to, and it was some little wrinkle that he was going to come up with to kind of uh, really kind of uh, get you uh, off your game. And so uh, I can remember we played San Antonio in the first game down there and uh, we got beat. And uh, so we went in the locker room and we were waiting for Nelly to come in. And Nelly uh, came in the room and said, I got something. We're going we're gonna to win this series. I got it. 
He said, we're going to win this series. I want you guys to get your rest. I'm, I, I got it. Just tomorrow, we're going to meet in the hotel. And I got, I got what we're going to, well, what we, how we're going to play and how we're going to win this game. But you, Mitch, and Tim, you guys got to play a little bit better defense because I think Rod Strickland had 30 that game. And I think Willie Anderson had 30. And so he said, you guys got to play a little bit better defense. But we're gonna win this series, and I and I got it. So we were confident. Like we we went out of that locker room like, okay, you know, we had the confidence in Nelly that he was gonna come up with some wrinkle, and the wrinkle was we, he put Rod Higgins at center. So that was the the, the way we we ended up uh, winning four straight games uh, after that loss against San Antonio. Here goes Mullen, draws the crowd all the way to the basket, got it. And then we uh, we played the Lakers, and we felt like we could we could match up with the Lakers. Uh, I mean, well, we we felt that we couldn't match up with them, but we had to outrun them. And this is the team that there was a Showtime Lakers, and nobody can outrun the Lakers. I mean, these guys ran with Magic Johnson, and so I think they uh, we we they beat the beat us the first game uh, down in L.A., and then the second game, Mully had a a career night. I think he had forty four. Uh, was unstoppable and uh we we felt that hey man we we can win this series we just got to play our best we got to be at our best and then we go back to golden state and and run dmc open for us and we pretty sh we, we probably shouldn't have had run dmc open for us so early maybe we should have waited a little later uh but run dmc open for us and we could just see the lakers down there oh my god they they were ready uh, we played some good games down there, but the Lakers just over time, they, uh, they kind of wore on us. They were bigger. Um, they were a little older, but uh, they, they, and they were running, they were running better than we were. So uh, they ended up winning that series. Oh my God. Well, we'll, we'll fit right in because we, we were, we were doing it, but we, we were doing it a little bit more movement. The Warriors, the Warriors was before they got KD. Uh, how they move the ball and how they move their bodies. We were doing that, that type of play. Uh, the difference was that those guys was uh, shooting threes. They were shooting more threes than we were. And I, I think it's just like anything, you know, when uh, you would we, we would adapt. Uh, we all shot threes. We all shot threes at a high rate. I mean, well, at a good number, but I, I can remember playing uh, throughout my career. And if I shot five or six threes sometime, I'm like, man, that's too many threes. I got to go to the hole. You know what I mean? Now these guys are shooting 16 to 18 threes a game sometimes. So, um, and I'm talking about one guy, you know? So I can remember the one time when J.R. Smith shot 23 threes in a game. I mean, that, that's, that's unheard of. Like, you know, so I, I think when, when we, you asked that question way back when, what would you change if you go back? I, I think one of those things that I, will all, I always think about is like, I wish I would have shot more. You know what I mean? I, sh I wish I would have shot more. <laughs> Here comes Hardaway on the wing to Richmond, the pull up. Got it! He's automatic tonight.